God is saying to you today, you must learn to trust God's timing. You can be sure that right now, God is arranging all the pieces to come together to work out His plan for your life. He has been working in your favor long before you encountered the don't grow impatient and try to force doors open. Don't try to make things happen in your own strength. The answer will come, and it will be right on time. John 15 verse 7 If you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask whatever you wish, and it will be done for you. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, never get tired of doing good. Seek nothing but the will of God and he will always lead you to the right place at the right time. A wife of noble character who can find. She is worth far more than rubies. Remain in me as I also remain in you. No branch can bear fruit by itself, it must remain in the vine. Neither can you bear fruit unless you remain in me. James 4 verse 8 Draw near to God and he will draw near to you. Amen. God says, Sometimes all you can do is leave it in my hands and wait. My plans might be bigger than yours. Trust me, I've got you. You are going to be an example that anything is possible and miracles really happen. Dear God, I have no idea where you are taking me, but I trust you. God is saying to you today, I will never send you into a situation alone. I go before you. I am standing beside you. I walk behind you. Whatever situation you are facing right now, be confident that I am with you. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you, I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Pray for us. We are sure that we have a clear conscience and desire to live honorably in every way. Joshua 1 colon 9 Be strong and courageous, do not be frightened or dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. God is your refuge and strength, a very present help in time of need. Say, Amen, if you believe it. Faith isn't a feeling. It's a choice to trust God even when the road ahead seems uncertain. God says, stop wasting all your time being sad for what's gone. Praise me for what's on the way. Stop stressing something big is about to happen for you. Some blessings are blocked by what you refuse to leave. Turn your worry into worship, and watch me turn your battles into blessings. For in six days the Lord made the heavens and the earth, the sea, and all that is in them, but he rested on the seventh day. Therefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and made it holy. Above all else, guard your heart, for everything you do flows from it. Observe the commands of the Lord your God, walking in obedience to him and revering him. Change is coming. Everything in your life now will begin to propel forward. We'll notice a shift from stagnation to flow, from lack to abundance, from confusion to clarity, from pain to peace. This is the turning point for you. 
Type 555 to affirm. Maybe God ruined your plans so that your plans wouldn't have ruined you. Trust that God knows what's best for your life, because he absolutely does. Deuteronomy 31 colon 8 It is the Lord who goes before you. He will be with you, he will not leave you or forsake you. Do not fear or be dismayed. Comment, Amen, if you believe. No one can redeem the life of another or give to God a ransom for them. Hey you. Yes you. You are currently living at least one of the prayers you used to pray. Think about that today. One thing about God, when he sees you trying, he'll handle the rest. To everyone who sees this, stop stressing. God always looks out for you. Thank him in the middle of it. This is a friendly reminder to prepare for what you prayed for. Amen if you believe. God is not in a hurry. You are. It's why you are tired. It's why you are anxious and stressed and disappointed. Trust that what was meant to be yours will be yours. When the devil keeps asking you to look at your past, there's something in your future he doesn't want you to see. Faith isn't a feeling. It's a choice to trust God even when the road ahead seems uncertain. Whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it, and it will be yours. Comment, Amen, if you believe. In my desperation I prayed, and the Lord listened, He saved me from all my troubles. She is clothed with strength and dignity, she can laugh at the days to come. She speaks with wisdom, and faithful instruction is on her tongue. I have been crucified with Christ, and it is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. That life which I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself up for me. God created heaven and earth in six days. Who's to say he can't change your life in one day? Stay faithful. God. I am bigger than your opposition, greater than your sickness, and more powerful than your enemies. I will see you through this. Do not love the world or the things in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Zesharia 9.12 Come back to the place of safety, all you prisoners who still have hope. I promise this very day that I will repay two blessings for each of your troubles. A true Christian is someone who faithfully obeys God and diligently walks in his ways without questioning. A true Christian does not live a life that pleases people, but rather one that pleases God. The person who supports the evil culture of this world and rejects God's word is not a Christian. Doing God's will above all else is the true motive of God's people. If you agree, comment, Amen. The universe is removing toxicity from your way. Love is coming your way. Money is coming your way. 
You are going to be happier than you've ever been. Claim it now. Type yes to claim it.